According to the Texas Department of Transportation, in 2009, there were more than 27,000 alcohol-related crashes in Texas that resulted in over 1,000 deaths and more than 17,000 injuries. In 2009, nearly one-third of total traffic fatalities in Texas was a result to, by drivers under the influence of alcohol. <coughs> These deaths are entirely preventable. If only someone would have taken the keys or decided to have a designated driver. My name is Kim Vasquez, and today I want to educate you on making the right choices when it comes to drinking and driving. I will give you the statistics and the laws and talk about the consequences for making the decision to drink and drive. I will also inform you of groups that you can give you more information on how to educate yourself, your friends, and your family on making the right choices. By the end of this, I hope to pursue you sorry, persuade you to make the right choices about drinking, about not drinking and driving. Getting stopped for drinking and driving, commonly referred to as DWI, driving while intoxicated, or DUI, driving under the influence, is a serious offense and can have different consequences depending upon where you live. All 50 states have a per se law defining in crime to drive while blood alcohol or content or BAC level at or above the prescribed threshold. According to the Department of Tech Transportation, every state has a maximum BAC level of 0.08%. Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, also known as MAD, report that every year over 16,000 Americans are killed by drunk drivers. That is an equivalent of one person dying every 31 minutes by a drunk driver. Josh, please stop talking to her and ignore her. Thank you. According to alcohol effect, according during, drinking alcohol affects your judgment, relaxes, relaxes, relaxes your depth of perception, and other cognitive skills needed to drive. Drinking and driving yes. are drunk drivers are more, drinking drivers are more likely to get a serious in a serious auto accident more than sober drivers. By the time you reach the legal limit of 0 .08. Your muscle control is poor, your judgment is impaired, and your ability to detect danger is significantly reduced. Some of you may want to know, how do you know when you've had too much to drink? Drive, DrivingUniversity.com states, tolerance for alcohol is different, and, and, the, and the BAC can be affected by many factors like weight, gender, and how much you've had to eat. The general rule is to consume no more than one drink per hour, with one drink being 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or one single shot of liquor. However, this is not foolproof and due to the factors mentioned, so the best def defense against DWI is to not drink and drive at all. There are many laws. Like I stated before, the legal around the United States is 0 .08. As far as the consequences for the offense, it varies from state to state. As for the state of Texas, the te Texas Department of Motor Vehicles lists the following consequences for drinking and driving. It can impose fines, it can suspend or revoke your license, require participation in drug education programs, it can add points to your license, um, you can be sentenced to jail, your insurance can go up, and you can be put on parole. As a, um, impose, I'm sorry, as a result, now, as a result, you now have a criminal record. This can prevent opportunities from employment depending on the job, and depending on the job you have, you could lose it. This not, not only affects you as an individual, but it has, a, it has a, a effect on your family. They will suffer too. Court costs and fees become overwhelming. And the most horrifying thought of them all, not the cost of lawyers, not the loss of jobs. What if you actually killed someone? Could you live with that for the rest of your life? Let me paint this image for you. Two years ago, on June, my friend's father was driving on Highway 529 on an early evening on his way to celebrate his daughter's birthday. When he was hit, he was then suddenly hit by a drunk driver and died at the scene. He was a husband, he was a father, and he was a grandfather, and lost at the age of 48. His daughter will never remember her celebration of life, her birthday as a celebration of life, but as a day of mourning. The driver was only 24 years old and was so intoxicated he didn't completely realize 
what had happened until later. He was convicted of um, intoxicated manslaughter and sentenced to jail. He was two. He has a two-year-old daughter whose life he will miss out on because he, was, he had terrible judgment. Another grim story is the story of John Williams Cisneros. She survived the car crash, but her life will never be the same. On September 19, 1999, high school senior Reggie Stephan drove home drunk and slammed into a car with five people. Two were killed instantly. Jacqueline, a 20-year-old student at the time, was trapped inside the car with a She was badly burned and has no ears, no hair, no nose. Because her fingers were amputated, she has limited vision. I'm not going to show you a video of this young woman, but let me warn you, this is very disturbing. This is a picture of me before I was hit by a drunk driver. Before I caught fire. Before two of my friends died. Before I needed more than 40 operations. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being hit by a drunk driver. Okay. You can you can learn more about this story at watch out babe. At facesofdrunkdriving.com. There are many groups that out there that can be a part of to keep drunk drivers off the street. There is Mothers Against Drugs or M A D D MAD. Project Crash. Shattered Dreams and Every 15 Minutes are just three of the many programs being used in high schools around the country. The, student par parent and fa the students, parents, and fa faculty created a reenactment of the deadly traffic accidents caused by drunk drivers. The goal is to aim at driving the home the importance of drink not drinking and driving. Some tips you can do to help is first of all, let people know where you come from when it comes to drinking and driving. Volunteer be a designated driver when going out. This means that you should not drink at all. Take the keys if you feel like someone has had too much. So as you can see by the facts present, the laws, the statistics, the grim stories of the victims, and the tips on things that you can do to help keep safe, there is no reason to drink and drive. Finally, I hope the important information yeah. <laughs> Has I was an eye opener for you. The deaths due to drunk driving yeah. is preventable, and that I hope that you use the knowledge to help people make the right choices. Thank you. Can I turn it?